else you got back there? Look, there was an awkward moment in the conversation. It never happened before. You slept with Nina. What are you going to tell George? Nothing. And neither will you. George can never know about this. It'll crush him. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll put it in the vault. No good. Too many people know the combination. What combination? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. A little weird when I mentioned Nina. Nina? Nina? No. Not weird. No, Nina. Why do you keep saying Nina? I don't know, Nina. Nina! <laughs> I'm gonna go grab a bite. I'll, I'll meet you down there. Cereal, cereal. Peach schnapps. Watch this. So Jerry and Nina, huh? Oh, mm -mm. I'm not gonna tell you any more things. You already told me everything. Okie dokie. George knows that you slept with Nina. That's why I was acting so weird. How did he find out? He schnapp me. You know you're not supposed to drink while you're keeping a secret. Is there anything else? I can't tell you. Here, drink this. I slept with the groom. Pinter? He used to be called Peter. So, who cares about that? Sue Ellen. She knew she'd call off the whole wedding. Oh, nobody's calling off any weddings. All right, it's time to go. Monkey. Monkey. Oh, my best friend is trying to get married up here. Elaine, you have to sleep with me. I'm not going to sleep with you. Reparations! Would you grow up, George? What is the difference? Nina slept with him, he slept with me, I slept with Pinter. Nobody cares. It's all ancient history. You slept with the groom? <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to place an order. Uh, yes, what'd you like? This supreme flounder, it says first time served in America. Is that true? What number? 47? Yeah, first time. What else? Uh, that's it. Address? 78 West 86th Street, apartment 3E. That's south side. Sorry, we don't deliver below 86. I'm not below. Yes, you are. Street itself is boundary. Your guy can't cross to my side? If we deliver to you, then what? 85th Street, Wall Street, Mexico, 84th Street. All right, fine. I'll just cross and meet him. Sorry, foot only for those who live within boundary. <laughs> China Panda. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd like to place an order. Uh, what you like? Hi, China Panda. Why are you waiting on the street and not in your apartment? I thought that I would meet you halfway. <laughs> you really live here? Oh, yeah. There you go. You keep the change. Bye now. I'll see ya. Yeah. Hi. I'm your neighbor. Uh, from across the street. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> I was wondering if it wouldn't be too much trouble if I could use your apartment to order some food. <laughs> what? what? What do you want? You see, there's this certain flounder, and they won't deliver it to my side of the street. <laughs> when, when is that? No, I just need them to deliver it here, and I have to be kind of inside, is all. Yeah. Who are you with? <laughs> no, actually, I'm, I'm just kind of hungry. <laughs> and, and Who are you in? Well, the lock was broken. You just have to jiggle it, actually. To, hmm. But I, I just need, like, a half an hour to an hour. Hi. 
Sorry, I didn't hear you. I was out of the shower. I'll see ya. Excuse me, what are you doing in there? Um, nothing, I was just, um... I wasn't in there. You were hanging around in there, lazing on the job, when you should have been downstairs in the basement cleaning out those old carpets and scrap wood. Right, because... I'm the janitor. Don't get smart with me. Yes, ma'am. Adam, Jerry and Elaine are here. Oh, the cute little snuggly baby. Isn't he gorgeous? Gorgeous. Yes. So very gorgeous. Michael, shut the door. You're letting bugs in. <laughs> Is it me or was that the ugliest baby you have ever seen? Oh, I couldn't look. It was like a Pekingese. Boy, a little too much chlorine in that gene pool. And you know, the thing is, they'll never know. No one's ever going to tell them. Oh, you have to lie. Oh, it's a must-lie situation. Yes, it's a must-lie situation. Tell her about the shrinkage factor. No, I'm not going to tell her about your shrinkage. Besides, I, I think women know about shrinkage. How do women know about shrinkage? Isn't it common knowledge? Oh. I like, I like. I like. Do women know about shrinkage? What do you mean, like laundry? <laughs> No. Like when a man goes swimming afterwards? It shrinks? Like a frightened turtle. Why does it shrink? It just does. I don't know how you guys walk around with those things. I got some toast. Oh, sure. Hey, guys, I want to make a toast. Um, here's to those who wish us well, and those who don't can go to hell. <laughs> All right, who's dancing? Come on, who's dancing? You want me to, you want me to get it started? I'll get it started. <gasps> oh, cool. Look at that. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Oh, that is a Schwinn Stingray, and it's the girl's model. Oh, I always wanted one of these when I was little. What do you think, Jerry? <laughs> Jerry, huh? what do you think? Oh, yeah, it'd be great for your paper up. <laughs> I love it. I'm getting it. Can you help me get it down, Jerry? Jerry. I think your friend needs some help over there. You know, the only way to really help her is to just let her be. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, man, this is killing me. Right now, I would give that bite to the first person who could make this pain go away. Oh, you're really hurting, huh? Oh, Kramer, it's just awful. Mm -hmm. Well, your arterioles have constricted. <laughs> All right, lean forward, relax. What? What? Yeah, encounter Shiatsu. Wait a minute. Kramer, you know what you're doing oh, here? Oh, yeah. A wise man once taught me the healing power of the body's natural pressure points. Uh-huh. He sells T-shirts outside the World Trade Center. Uh -huh. He's a genius. Well, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. All right, from pain will come pleasure. Oh, God! Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that is unbelievable. Uh -huh. That pain is totally gone. What's even more amazing is his formal training is in pediatrics. <laughs> All right, my work is done here. Oh, man, Kramer, thank you. Yeah, you can send that bike over any time. What? what? What is he talking about? I don't know. Oh, because you said you'd give the bike to anyone who fixes your neck. You really think he wants the bike? Oh, yeah. I mean, it took him like 10 seconds. Well, that's the most he's worked in the last four months. You and Robert. Hmm? Yep. Really?
Really? Yes, indeedy. <laughs> I'm surprised. Really? Why? No reason. Well, believe me, this didn't happen overnight. Robert is not exactly a one-woman man, if you know what I mean. No sir, Bob. <laughs> sure, I mean, in a lot of ways, he's a typical guy. He likes his sports. But he counters that side with the side you see here tonight at the ballet or the pleasure he gets in watching Miss Liza Minnelli belt out a few choice numbers. <laughs> it's those two halves of his personality that just come together to make him the very special guy that he is. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. It's just such a great night. Oh. And did they suspect anything? Mm. No, I was a fantastic beard. I held hands, I called him honey. And we discover yet another talent. Posing as a girlfriend for homosexuals. Oh, it's just such a great night. Oh. You said that already. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't tell me. You like him? He's incredible. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, I, I know. So? What? Not conversion. <laughs> you thinking conversion? Well, it did occur to me. I'm... You think you can get him to just change teams? He's not going to suddenly switch sides. Forget about it. Why? Is it irrevocable? Because when you join that team, it's not a whim. He likes his team. He's set with that team. But we've got a good team. Yeah, we do. We do have a good team. Well, well why can't he play for us? They're only comfortable with their equipment. along so great. Of course you did. Everyone gets along great when there's no possibility of sex. No, no, no. I sensed something. I did sense something. I perceived a possibility, Jerry. You realize you're venturing into uncharted waters. I realize that. Are you that desperate? Yes, I am. See the irony here? You're rejecting somebody because they're bald. So? You're bald! No, I'm not. I was bald. Oh, hey. Mind if I pet your dog? It's okay with me. Oh, oh. You can't have that dog in here. Are you okay? Oh. Did he bite you? Oh. Can you believe that girl? I'm okay. It's just a minute. Okay. Okay? That's it? I, I don't need a shot? No shot. Dog bite. No, no, no. I know I wasn't shot. Do I need a shot? Not shot. Dog bite. <laughs> woof, woof. Not bang bang. A headache. Oh, that's another symptom. Of what? Rabies? Oh, that's fatal. You don't want that. I know I don't want it. I don't need you to tell me what I don't want, you stupid hipster doofus. Hey. Hey. What is this? What's going on here? I'm sorry, Kramer. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, it's all right. I'm sorry. I had a friend who had rabies once. I think I'm. I'm having trouble swallowing. Yeah. I, I, I can't swallow. Yeah, she's got rabies, just like my friend Bob Sacamano. Look at that, she's delirious. She's foaming at the mouth! Is this gonna hurt? Yes, very much. Well, Kramer was right. My friend Kim told me the sponge is off the market. So what are you gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a hard target search of every drugstore, general store, health store, grocery store in a 25 block radius. <laughs> Yeah, 
Uh, do you have any today sponges? I know they're off the market, but I actually we a... have a case left. A case? <laughs> a case of sponges? I, I, I mean, a case. <laughs> huh. Uh, uh, how how many come in a case? Sixty. Sixty. Uh, um. Well, I'll take three. Three. Yeah. Well, make it ten. Ten? Twenty sponges should be plenty. You say twenty? Yeah. Twenty-five sponges is just fine. Twenty-five? Yeah. You said with twenty-five? Yeah. Yeah. Just give me the whole case. I'll be on that one. I didn't even use one. Yeah. I thought you said it was imminent. Yeah, it was, but then I just couldn't decide if he was really sponge-worthy. <laughs> Sponge worthy? Yeah, Jerry, I have to conserve these sponges. But you like this guy. Isn't that what the sponges are for? Yes, yes. Before they went off the market. But I mean, now I've got to reevaluate my whole screening process. I can't afford to waste any of them. So you think you're sponge worthy? Yes, I think I'm sponge worthy. I think I'm very sponge worthy. Run down your case for me again. <laughs> Well, we've gone out several times. We obviously have a good rapport. Um, I own a very profitable electronics distributing firm. I eat well. I exercise. Blood tests, immaculate. And if I can speak frankly, I'm actually quite good at it. You gonna do something about your sideburns? Yeah, there? I told you. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna trim my sideburns. In the bathroom in your apartment? Cleaned it this morning. Uh huh. The sink, the tub, everything got cleaned. Everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's spotless. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs>